How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company. We are playing the campaign mode, doing every single level, doing every single trophy. And we're currently playing through level five merry-go-round. Now in a previous video, we did the first objective. So go check that out on my channel, along with all the previous missions. Uh, but this video, we'll be doing the second objective, which is sell at least 20 units of any product per week. So let's just jump into it. If you do enjoy city building, simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also like like the video as it really does help out so we're going to skip through that quickly if you do want to do the story have a look at it see how it goes i recommend just buying the game it's absolutely fantastic i'm having a great time with it uh, so yeah we made all this in the previous video it's working extremely well and we're doing 10 units of the clean boy max every week we're just going to quickly check the market tab though uh for the uh so yeah the sales are still up, there's still demand for that, so absolutely fantastic. Uh, so this is just gonna make us a lot of money. So we could double the amount of things we make here, however, uh, it means doubling the production of everything else, which is just not gonna cut it. So we are gonna start producing a new product, which is gonna be a courier bot. So let's jump into the blueprint maker, create a new courier bot. This unlocks after the first objective, if you are wondering about that. And we're gonna be, uh, we need it to be decent, you know, decent. So let's do enhanced case and create that product. Now it needs uh, speed and storage. So let's do a small compartment on that. Uh, we're gonna use a medium DC motor, which we researched last, uh, episode and also we're gonna put a few a little bit of processing power in it so let's start with one of those now the market appeal on that is only one which is let's be honest not great so let's see if we can actually put a logic circuit in it and see if that changes anything so that's actually got maximum processing power and gives a market appeal of three so that's gonna be that's gonna be extremely useful for getting uh, 10 units per week sold and making money at the same time, which is what we need. So I think, uh, let's, oh, that's the wrong button. I think we're gonna go with this. Um, we could actually put two, we could actually put two um, small compartments in it to max it out to go to five. However, I don't think, I don't think that's gonna be necessary and it's just gonna bring the assembly time up a little bit extra to what we need. Uh, uh, to what we don't need so let's just do one compartment and it's going to be nine seconds to make that um the clean boy i think let's have a look the clean boy gets made in six seconds i think yeah six seconds and they're they're making 10 a week maybe maybe we should modify that then uh edit and take that out that's on six seconds okay let's do let's do that design there then I think that's gonna be a lot better. We're gonna call this the Deliver. The Deliver Boy 1000, the first model. Uh, so six seconds, we know uh, two tables can uh, produce 10 a week. Uh, well, they can produce 10 a week and sell, well, they need to sell. Let's see what we're doing. Uh, so I think we only sold, yeah, we only sold nine that week. Uh, that's probably because we didn't make them quick enough. However, as long as we've got cash coming in, that's fine. Anyway, I've been rambling on for ages. Uh, so let's go over to here and we're gonna start uh, by buying this building. It gives us an extra lot of space and let's get an assembly table set up and then we can start planning out. Uh, assembly table, there we go. And I'm thinking we're gonna have the assembly area over here and we're gonna ship the uh, the finished products down this conveyor belt and sell them on this outgoing zone here because this space doesn't have a uh, outgoing zone. So we need to move them. So let's see what we need. We need enhanced cases, symbol case, medium motor, and a small compartment. Let's start with the case, right? Start how we mean to go on with the case. So let's get a few workbenches down three, four, uh, and let's see what they need. Enhanced case needs a reinforced case and plastic parts. A reinforced case needs a plastic case. Plastic case needs a simple case. Simple case, there we go. They need raw materials as well. Plastic, plastic, metal, 
and metal and that needs plastic parts as well so let's make some of those we can make them on the workbench as well okay so this is going to be the case area i think it's going to fit over here um i have played through these before I'm not gonna lie uh <laughs> it's, it was quite a while ago i played through this section of the game however i think we can we'll make it work right we'll make it work uh, so this is going to be like a case making area looking great my, uh, i may add <laughs> so let's get plastic parts uh d delivered in that's fantastic and we shall link that up so everything's going to go onto this shelf and then be distributed to each section so plastic parts need plastic that needs plastic as well that needs plastic as well that doesn't and that doesn't either so let's put those cases back on there now what else does that need that needs the simple case so we can get the simple case onto those oh that's already linked up you know what i think that's going to link them up anyway as long as we get metal and plastic onto there i think that's going to be fine so yeah that's the first area done we won't hire anyone just yet just to save on costs uh, so the next thing we need for that is the simple circuits. So we are actually making simple circuits over here and we're making quite a lot of them. So I'm wondering if we could just have some be brought over to us using like another conveyor belt. We could do that, you know, we could do that as an option or we could just make them. Because uh, they are getting stacked up there a lot. You know what? no hang on no we'll make them we will make them because the dc motor we need to bring um actually no we will we will bring them over we will bring them over uh, so conveyor belts uh we don't actually have any conveyor belt parts in our inventory and this guy is making them also while we're here i'm just gonna put the logistics slots for this because this is our little conveyor belt part making bit uh, just so he can fit as many as he wants on there while we're at it as well actually another thing to, to uh, keep in mind we're just going to keep researching stuff so i'm going to research the quadruple battery stack that's going to be useful for the next objective um so let's get this factory up and running first of all let's do conveyor belts uh we're going to have them come into this area here so let's uh bring that all the way down there up to there fantastic oh we need to bring that down a little bit further and we're going to put a roller band just there so come that's going to be circuit boards cases so circuit boards and cases are sorted medium dc motor and small compartments we are actually making the small compartments as well however we do need those for this section over here so we don't really we're not making enough of them to warrant bring them over so we'll actually start building them here so we need rods and cases for those so rods uh, rods and screws I mean sorry sorry about that and my words mixed up uh, let's put a small compartment and a small compartment and it needs metal as well um, I'm actually going to move these over here and put a just up one and these are going to have like the same sort of layout as over here so you've got the two desks with a shelf at the end and i'm going to move these ones they can be they're fine there they're fine there for now we can move them later so this is going to be compartments being made we do need metal for that though so let's get metal in and let's get that linked up does um we need metal over here actually don't we yeah so i'm again getting a bit ahead of myself so metal to there and then that's fine plastic parts are going towards um yeah that's going to there i don't know why it's got a exclamation point uh i know why because it needs nope it doesn't hang on plastic parts to there there we go <laughs> so right it's, it's very like it's very difficult to it's not difficult it's just once you get the hang of it then it's then it's okay but for now 
um, you just you just just pay attention. Just pay attention to what you're doing with stuff. So screws and rods are going to come over. Right, let's get those over to here. And we need metal on that one as well. So let's get all the metal in. I might actually order some more metal because everything seems to be using metal at the moment. So we've got circuit boards. We've got base. Uh, we've got compartments. We've got cases. We just need to make the medium DC motors now. Uh, so let's have a look how we make those. Um, is there anything on there? Small DC. Yeah, so we can make them on here. Medium DC motor. We need a small DC motor and mechanical parts and metal. We can do that. So we need to get a mechanical part builder set up. And this is going to be the small DC motor, which is going to be gears and mechanical parts. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so let's get some more tables that down. Doing the um, the mechanical part. So we're gonna do the mecha mechanical part again. I'm just tripping over my words, guys. <laughs> and what else did it need? It needed gears, didn't it? Uh, we can't actually do gears on this one. So we're gonna need a tinker table. Uh, I'm sure in the future there's gonna be a table that's like better that can do gears but for now we just have to use a tinker table absolutely fine I mean this layout is probably not efficient moving stuff over around like all over the place like this but we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it and hopefully the logistics guy is gonna be on the ball with this so let's get logistics up this is uh, small compartments being made onto there go back onto the shelf um, this needs metal, so metal goes, goes to make the gear, that goes back onto there, and the gear. That also needs a screw, which is we're building over here, so let's do that. Mechanical part will then go down to make the, the motor, yep, yeah. and the small, the small one needs the gear as well, so the gear gonna come from here and go to there and that DC motor is gonna go onto there and that's gonna go on to there okay so I think I think it should work <laughs> it should work um, so this should have it should have everything it needs now uh, so let's get the logistics links up for the end bit we're gonna need two assembly table up the end here uh, so let's get our little design going a massive bench there we'll work that right in the corner and a medium shelf there and we will put a we could actually put a logistics uh, let's put a logistics bit here so that's just going to deal with I mean that's going to deal with those two shelves and that one another logistics shelf um, we kind of want it um, I mean it's a bit funny there but it will work we could put it there actually no no we'll put it we will put it there it's, it's such a weird place there but that's every single shelf covered and I'm gonna hire like maybe three people on this on this one because there's one two three four five like five different shelves uh, to deal with so let's hire three people for that one okay and let's get the we'll put two on this one because we need to we need to be pumping and pumping these out very quickly so we can't have um, any bottlenecks anywhere so hopefully I'm saying this should all work we're running out of uh, people <laughs> to hire <laughs> so that's a that's a great start um what we're going to do here as well uh we need to get the circuit boards over to this um conveyor belt and i've just realized i've done a stupid thing here we need to delete this re this uh, conveyor belt because it's going the wrong way so let's delete that uh can we do a yeah that's how to do it yeah, so I'm. I would love a conveyor belt, um, like a button to swap the conveyor belt direction around. 
just in case you do it wrong. So you, now that's going the right way and that's going to come into there and um, <clears throat> uh, circuit boards are going to pile up on here. Let's get the last logistics links in while we're waiting. Hang on actually, there should be more people to hire. Yeah, here we go. So they've all got workers. This needs a worker. This needs a worker. I normally do the hiring the workers off camera because you've got to wait around for them, but it is what it is. We've got stuff we can be doing. Uh, so let's set, set up this logistics link over here. So the circuit boards are going to be, so 30 are going on to there. We could actually, if we up the amount of space that has, so we can fit 60 on there now, and then we will split them off from here over to here. So half should be on there, which is sufficient enough and half will be going over here, which again, we've only, we're only going to be using one circuit board. So that should be enough in theory, but we shall see. Right. Let's hire these last people. Come on guys. Don't you want to work for me? I'm a good boss. You get good, good perks, including the uh, company swimming pool. It's there. You're not, you're not using it because you're meant to be working. But um, <laughs> right, so we've got these being built. Let's link up the last logistics slots. So uh, assign that. That's deliver boy. This is going to be deliver boy. And we're going to get the medium DC motors from there. We're going to get the compartments from there. We're going to get the cases from there and we're going to get the circuit boards from there and now link those up they go directly onto the shelf absolutely fantastic and that should be that should be it have we got anyone hired on here i don't know oh we've got three people on there we don't need three people have we got a uh yeah we got that logistics point there we've got three people on that one um you know what i'm just gonna i'm just uh, no I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on him on this one here because they seem to be waiting for a lot of stuff and actually we're running i think we're running out of metal so we might have to order some more product in let's have a think no actually i think we're doing all right They are just waiting for metal there, so let's have a look. Ah, bring them all over like that. And is there anyone working on this bench here? I'm hoping someone's going to walk over and start building stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they are definitely they're definitely being made. Okay. And now, right, let's have a look. The circuit boards are stacking up there. That's nice. And they seem to be running out here. However, it's because we can fit more on here. Um. This might have been a mistake. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I don't know. We'll we'll deal with it when it when it when it goes bad. So uh, we now need to transport the deliver boy over to the outgoing zone. So let's get another uh, conveyor stack there. A roller stack. It's not a conveyor stack. And that like that. And finally, deliver boy is gonna go onto there. And it's going to come out the other end here and be put on the outgoing zone to sell. Now, why did that have a that had an exclamation mark on it? The Clean Boy Max. And why is why haven't we got any of those on there? I think it's because we run out of circuit boards. What I might do, I might actually start producing more circuit boards over here. I say circuit boards; they're simple circuits, but we will. I think. I think we'll leave it for the moment. Uh, so we've got them being built, that's good. It might have just been easier just to build circuit boards over here, but it is what it is. They keep running out of um, the DC motors. But again, I'm hoping that's all gonna balance out. That's making, that's making the small ones, right? 
that's small and that's making medium, yeah. See, I think they actually took all of the circuit boards over there. That's so weird. I'm wondering if there's an easier way of doing it. Unless we delete that link there for them circuit boards and just directly go from there to there. I don't know if that's going to help, but we will see. So hopefully half will... Hope I'm hoping the logistics people will go half on there, then half over to there. Let's try that out. We're up to 10 units sold a week again. Where are these deliver boys coming? Oh, okay, right. So again, I've done an absolute noob error. We don't need a roller ball, uh, a roller section. You just put it on the end of the conveyor belt. So let's get another conveyor belt going. That's like that. And we can link those up again. And we'll move over to that one. Because uh, we've got one in our inventory, which we need to put down, really. So let's put that into there. Fantastic. So now we've got deliver boys coming this way. And we've got these being built this uh, this week. Uh, this side. Okay, I think it's all, it's all going well. We just need to make sure we're selling enough of every week. Let's go into the market tab. So the deliver boy, we need... So potential sales of one. So let's put that down to 10 a week, hopefully. Now it's just a case of can we actually build 10 a week? We are sort of running out of money. I mean, to say that, we just went into profit, which is absolutely fantastic. So we sold 15 that week. And I'm hoping uh, the circuit board situation is not, it's not good, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So... I might actually start making circuit boards over here and uh, for the, like the next section if we don't do this at the moment. So let's have a look at our Clean Boy Max. Um, we're literally just making 10 every week, right? Uh, so that was 15 again. It looks like we're selling 15 every week. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll just see how it goes and hopefully we can, the company will stay open. <laughs> okay guys, so we're having a bit of trouble with this. I put a, another workbench doing the simple circuits and it's made a little bit of a difference. We're up to 16 now, however, I'm going to have to, again, like sort of game the system. So I'm just going to delete that link there and also I'm going to delete... Uh, that link there for now and I'm just gonna get 10 of each stacked up on like the shelf if that makes sense uh, and then put them all on the put them all on the uh, outgoing zone at once and hopefully that will be able to make us money so let's go start picking uh, picking these up we need to put these these down somewhere though. we could put them over here so yeah it's um this is like the 10 units and stuff a week per so like sold it it just needs it just needs a, like stuff stacked up um that's one of my tips for doing for for that so let's see how many we've got on there we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've got ten on there and we've got one two three four five six seven and then we're gonna have a few on here right They keep running out of DC motors, but I think we're doing fine at the moment. We need to be careful about our weekly profit and that. That's the only problem with doing doing this little little tip here thing. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen on there at the moment. Now if we go to cleaner bot. If we discount that more to fifteen. So the weekly demand is 15 on for that, so that's not going to sell any more. And then if we lower that to 5, we lower that to 6. And now if we do, we'll wait for Monday to come and then we'll link up the logistics again. And they should, if the numbers are right, they should stack up and 
uh, sell the 20 in one week uh, so let's hope let's just hope this works right so from here to here and from there to there and just hope we can get enough stuff on there so how many have we got on there at the moment? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fantastic. And that is going to sell 15. And how many have we got on there? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And we've got another one coming over. So we've got 5 on there. So that makes 15. And that's going to sell 7. So all of those should sell. So come Monday, we should we should be back up and running, and it should be making a profit as well, because we are minus sixteen thousand. Look at that; it's actually insane. We've actually got quite a lot stacking up now, haven't we? That's actually really good. So is it? Is it going to work? Is it going to happen? Yes, there we go. Absolutely fantastic. So there is the second trophy. If you guys did enjoy the video, remember to press the subscribe button as we play city building, simulation and management games all the time on here. Any questions, suggestions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.